with the men and women of law enforcement. All suspects are innocent until proven guilty in a court of law. Well, most of the people we deal with are great people. I mean, they're uh, citizens of uh, Las Vegas. A lot of people move here from all over. When I first got here, I think we were probably about 50 or 60,000 people, and now we're almost a million 200,000. Uh, um, and you're going to get those big city problems anytime you have a community that grows and expands like that, especially at the rate that we're expanding. We just got a call. There was uh, somebody came home and uh, saw three juveniles were inside burglarizing their house and ran out the back door. And uh, we're in the neighborhood now. We're responding with a couple of uh, patrol units to see if we can find the suspects roving around. We're looking for a black male juvenile and uh, two Latin male juveniles in T-shirts and jeans. I'm over there, Al. Maybe I can. Maybe I'll remember that house. We're gonna call and we'll go over there and knock on the door. I don't remember. I didn't pay much attention to the house because the car was parked out front. Stop. I have no brakes. Stop. I'm Pull stopped. over or I'll ram you. White male juvenile with a red and blue bandana, green shorts, and a white t-shirt. <laughs> just hold, just relax. It's okay. Take your time. Just relax. Okay, listen to me. Listen to me. You won't get hurt. Just listen. Put your hand behind your back. What you running for? Huh? What are you running for? He's wearing gloves. I got him on still. What else you got? Nothing. My cigarette. Oh. Go back in there for you. Oh. I'll read you your rights here. Oh. Okay. Okay. Thank you, Alan. What you run for? Is that it? Is that a warrant? Stand up. Yeah, on the five. Okay. Oh. Uh, we're in the car? Yeah. Oh, how old are you? 26. Okay. You, you have the right to remain silent. Anything you say can be used against you in a court law. You have the right to the presence of an attorney. If you cannot afford an attorney, one would be point before questioning. Do you understand these rights? Yes, sir. Okay. Yeah, just have him stand right there in front. We were running after him. It looked like he was trying to dig in his pockets, so I don't know if he was trying to ditch something or not. But we'll look through this backpack he had on when we first saw him, and maybe we'll get lucky and find some property from the burglary that we thought he might be involved with. We actually picked him up. He was in the neighborhood. We picked him up because it's probably about 90 or 95 degrees out, and he was wearing gloves riding his bicycle, so we thought it looked kind of suspicious. Then when we tried to stop him, he just tried to take off on us. You no, know, we associate cotton gloves with, though. Yeah. What? Well, cotton gloves? What do we associate, what do police officers associate cotton gloves with? I don't know. Well, not with bike riders, right? Yes, sir. Okay. Yeah, I guess. There's a difference between bike gloves? You've been riding bikes oh. long enough to know, know that. These are $3, though. Mike, this came out of your bike. What is this? Sir, that's an iron, sir. Well, I know it says a mini iron, but what is it? It's an iron. That's all. Well, what would you use this for? You don't iron your clothes. What do you mean, what would you use this for? What would you use this for? An iron, just like it, like it's, like it says. The iron clothes with it. Things, things up. Okay, is this happen? Is it narcotics paraphernalia or not? No. That's my question. Can okay, I you got it? tons of it, and I've not seen this before. It's what is this used for? Tell, tell me what you use it for. It's an iron. Just to, for, it's not even mine. It's, it's from my What does your girlfriend use this for? To iron. What does she iron? iron. I don't know what she irons with it. Okay, why is it on your bike? I just know. It's not. I use it in my bag. Right. Why is it in your bag? Because um, I think This is not a big deal. It's really not well, a big deal. All I really yeah, want to know is what it's for. I haven't seen one before, and I would say based on all the paraphernalia that's here, it has something to do with with uh, your dope habit. That's all. Go ahead. It's a 
He's the party man. It's the party bong. All right, have you committed any burglaries today? No. I don't burglarize. Not at all. No way. Oh, my, um, from my friend's house. I'm Tori Pines. What's your friend's name? I'm never going to Tom. Tom who? I don't know his last name. He's a friend of yours, but you don't know his last name? How long, how long has he been a friend of yours? Like a month and a half. A month and a half? And see, because we just had a burglary up the street. And you look similar to one of the persons that was described leaving the area. Do you know anything about that at all? Okay. But you don't burglarize. You were coming from the same area that the burglary was, and you're wearing white cotton gloves. You know, Mike, you know, we've dealt with you before, and uh, it's a good thing we didn't have a gun on you this time. And the only amount of dope you have is just that little bit that we had? I'm sorry? Um, I said, uh, I wish that you didn't hold that against me. What's that? That uh, uh, that I did have. Well, you know, I, I don't hold uh, that dope against you. It's probably your habit, right? What I hold against you is when I tell you I'm going to identify yourself as a police officer for you to stop, that you don't. You ditch your bike, you can je uh, jeopardize my safety, my partner's safety, and everybody else, including all these kids. And we've got probably about 20 kids around here. That's the last thing you do. It's like your own little mini lab. Is that what you got going? Now, what is that? That's a torch. Do you roll things on your bike, or is that for the dope? For whatever you use, you know, a torch. I'm asking you, you've got... You've got these glass pieces here with burnt marks on them, and you've got a torch and all these other gizmos. I'm just wondering if you do all that together. I thought you lived one street over from here, just right over here I south. Used to. Huh? I used to. So if we go over to your house right now and talk to your mom, is your mom home right now? I don't know. I doubt it. I don't know. If she is, is she going to tell us you stay there or not? No, she's going to stay down. Right. You must be in bad shape because this fat old 40 year old man here can catch you. Well, I've been a police officer with Las Vegas Metro for a little over 13 years now been a sergeant the last five years, and primarily been working in this area, which is known as the Frank area. And it's a pretty good area to work. It's one of those areas that you never know what you're going to get into. It has a wide diversity of uh, type of people and income and stuff like that. So at any given time, uh, we can go from almost nothing to do to we have so much to do that we can't really keep a lid on it. Can I quickly get a building number on that, please? We have an officer who has a possible burglary suspect at gunpoint at our uh, Metro Evidence Vault. Apparently somebody is trying to break into the back bicycle area, so we're going to run around the corner and respond and back that officer. 3 George 12. 12. Just in case there's a bike compound, we cannot get to him. We're going to have to have someone come here with a key. Yeah, it looks like we do have two inside. Don't get cut on the razor wire. Where are they at? Okay. Okay. Just the one or two? Just one right now. Frank, one and 12, did you copy the dispatch to the evidence vault? He's in custody, we're checking the lot. Have the next thing respond, check the roadway, just east of the evidence box. Where's your ID at? I don't have none on you. You don't have nothing on you? No, no. Did you find yourself? Yes. Yeah. Were you the one that was in here about 20, 30 minutes ago? Yes, How old are you? 26. And you're out stealing bikes. Don't you think that's a little stupid? Yeah. Especially in the police impound you heard there, pal. What were you going to do with it when you got it? Drive it home. He's looking at, like, three, $400 bikes here. Yeah. He had, he's, he's got two of them, so he's going to send two matter. over. Burglary regardless. Yeah. That one's cheaper. That's probably about three or four, maybe well, 500 we're, we're looking at grand larceny anyway. Yeah. Attempt grand larceny, criminal trespass. He says he wasn't in here before. So we're not going to find any stolen property at your house? We can get information from so our you boyfriend in a 417 Yeah. Yes. It's pretty amazing that these people will stoop to any uh, length to uh, to steal property, but to to come to the police impound yard and break in and steal bikes is just hard to believe. On the 406A. 
Never can like tell anymore these days. Are going to be en route to 04 Montebello. Well, this is the second break-in alarm that we had at our vault tonight in the same area of the bike compound. Uh, it's likely that this subject may have been here earlier and may have gotten in and stole some bikes. We're going to go to his address, which is not too far away. He's actually within biking or walking distance. We're going to go check that address and see if maybe there's other stolen property there. Over here, George Moore. Hello. Do you know, do you know Stephen? Keep going, so I can hear. Okay, go ahead. Come on, Sass. Sass, come on. Yeah, now I can hear. I'm sorry. How you doing tonight? Are you Stephen's father? Yeah, I am. Okay, let me explain to you what has just happened. He uh, was caught in the evidence vault area, stealing bikes. Oh, you got it. And uh, what we'd like to do, if we can get permission from you, is to check your yard or shed or garage, see if maybe there's other stolen bikes here, because this is the second break-in alarm that we had at our evidence vault tonight, within an hour, as a matter of fact. All uh, right, well, just get, let me put some pants on. Okay. All right. I can't I'll be at Bonanza and Alice. I think the numbers are 280. You don't know where they came from? Well, I know where the one came from because the evidence sticker is right on there. Yeah. Just leave them right there like that. Does he have any other bikes that you know of? No, that's that's it. Can we check? Uh, can we check in the backyard too, sir? You can check it? anything you want. Was his buddy it. with the El Camino over here tonight? What, what, was, what color was it? Was it was it brown, gray? Gray? Sure? Yeah. No, the older yeah. gray one? Yeah, but see, I'm colorblind. Do you want to have the event number for the yeah, first four? Yeah. Yeah. Go ahead. What, uh, what he just was he in for? Uh, pardon? What was he in for? Tickets. He's been running from the police department, I guess, for about. Okay, you want to show me where the, the rest of the, if there's any others? That's it. Right when did he drag these home? Earlier tonight? I don't know. I just, see, I just woke up. Yeah. Okay, can we go ahead and check the backyard? Can we check the backyard? Yeah, come on. Okay. Right now we're looking for bicycles mainly. Well, we'll just go ahead and take a quick look. You never know. He might have slipped a couple in here without you knowing it. This is motorcycle too. No, the guy's in jail. Motorcycle? Yeah, and he owes me a lot of money. Holy smoke, I know who this is. His name is Brett. Hey, uh, this is the one I got in that pursuit with. Remember the one that dumped it over on yeah. Kel? Yeah, this I is do. the bike. You know, like we said, we really appreciate, you know, you know, Probably you helping us out and stuff. Riding. Well, it looks like as it turns out that, uh, the original burglar, or burglary alarm was in fact an actual where these two bikes were stolen out of our impound again. So as it turns out, it looks like this turned out to be a pretty good caper. Got them for two counts of grand larceny. And like I said before, you know, stealing from the cops, who would think? But you're all obviously gonna get caught, he did. I was blessed with this accent by virtue of being born and raised in the great state of Texas. I uh, moved to Las Vegas and joined the police department in 1989. The area that I have to patrol is the northwest section of the city. We're out of the Northwest Area Command. It is a very, very populous area. It's probably the most rapidly growing area in the valley. A tremendous amount of new home construction, tremendous amount of apartment construction. And Victor, do you want to be with him? Permanent. Okay, we have a stolen vehicle. Uh, apparently, uh, the person that took the vehicle is intoxicated. That he is in the neighborhood. We're going to try at this point to see if we can locate him. It might be him too. He's going the wrong way in traffic. Patrol through Victor 34. I have a possible subject. He's on a bicycle. He's out here. Uh, driving around on Lake Mead. He's traveling in the uh, eastbound travel lanes, going westbound. Okay, copy. Female, 408, and when she was 
advised the police were called. She uh, took out the back door. On the car. Huh? What are you doing out here acting like an idiot? Get up on the car. Take the backpack off and get up on the car. God, sir, you scared the shit out of me. Put the backpack down on the ground. Put your hands behind your back. What are you doing out here driving like that, man? I was just riding. Just riding, you're all in traffic. Oh, you scared me. You know you have the same obligations on that bicycle when you're doing a car? You, you can't go the wrong way on the street, you can't jump curbs, you can't run up sidewalks, you can't circle around in 7-Eleven parking lots. Just trying to... Just trying to what? Anything in here with your name on it? Just a bunch of cars I found at the casinos. That you found at the casinos? Stuck in the machines, go right there. I don't know what's going on right now. I'm going to slip these cuffs on you until I figure this out, okay? okay? It's a little bit strange when you got uh, credit cards that don't belong to you, you got identification that doesn't belong to you. You're not under arrest at this time, you understand? If I run the names on these cards and they come up the victim of a burglary, that's not going to look real good, is it? You can run them, sir. What are you going to do if they come up with the victim of a burglary? I wouldn't think that because somebody would just leave it, left him in the machine. Is this your wallet? Yes, it is, sir. My company has nothing in your name inside. That's probably my roommate. You have any idea what's on this receipt? I'm, I, I don't know. Hmm. Well, there's some two containers of Summer's Eve. Uh, hair coloring, hair conditioner, shampoo. Uh, some women's underwear. You mind if I look in your bag? There's a pair of bolt cutters in my flashlight. A pair of bolt cutters and flashlight. Uh-huh, that's very interesting. What would we keep bolt cutters for? I was cutting the spokes off my hub in Mike's garage right over here. Might be a pair of burglary tools, you think? No, sir. You might need a flashlight so you can look around in the dark. Okay, that's a protection. Pretty nice flashlight. Pair of protection, sir. Is this your book? What's in it? Phone number. Whose phone number? Let's see. There's Michelle, there's Nathan, there's Mike, there's... Uh, um, That's not yours, is it? That's... Uh, I picked it up, yes. What was your arrest for here? Petty theft. What did you take then? What did I take? Do you have anything in your pockets I need to know about? You have, no, I don't want you reaching in them. I want you to tell me whether you have anything in your pockets I need to know about. Yes, no, maybe? Yeah, I have a line and a baggie. Okay, that's kind of what I thought. Which pocket is it in? It's in the little teeny one. Where? The little one. This pocket? Yes, sir. Yeah, it looks like we have a small quantity of methamphetamine. Anything else on you that I need to know about? Anything that's going to bite, poke, cut, or stick me before I put my hands in your pockets? Yes, sir. I'm still curious as to why you tried to get away from us. Is it a little bit of dope scare you that bad? Yeah, it does. Why? Because I have a problem, and I can't admit to it. I guess I can admit to it, but that is enough to go to jail. I don't want to go to jail, but... It's not that. only enough to go to jail. That's enough to go to prison. I just want to help with my problem. What kind of help would you like? I'd like to do 
treatment or something that I so I can get off that and get a life. Would you stay on a on a program? Yes, I would. I just talked to my mom the other night, and I I, I feel heartless, and empty, and worthless. And that's why right there. I agree wholeheartedly. I tell you what, it takes a big man to stand up there and say that too. It's true. I'm gonna have you get in the back. I want you to watch your head going in. It's a little tight. You got long legs. Be careful. Uh, we will have to take him down tonight. We'll book him for possession of controlled substance for the methamphetamine. He'll be booked for possession of burglary tools as well. Uh, I think he will be a very good candidate to try to refer to the drug court. And uh, who knows, maybe we can turn him around. 132 in Bush. I've got him at gunpoint. Okay, gunpoint. 132 in Bush. Covers code 3. Thanks, Ted. Yeah, 25, 14, 10, transmit on tag 2. Okay, we'll still send a code 3. 